Um, I think we're going to plow on with the main stuff. I kind of want to get to the point where Connor's, Connor's a fully fledged assassin and then maybe branch out in these other side quest stuff. Because it's nice to have the freedom and also the abilities. God, getting just about anywhere in this game sure is really slow. Uh, it'd be slower to swim, I imagine. Oh, were there buildings here before? They must have been. There's quite a lot of them, and they're rather large. Oh, this is the homestead. I'm a little confused. Might speed this up. Oh, cool! You can actually retrieve your arrows from uh, from dead raccoons. Nice. Training begins. Go away. <laughs> Said, Go away, boy. Do not speak the king's English. Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. Your boy's name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore? Odd my manners. She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs some attention. Minor things, mostly, but with a little affection, she'll fly again. Who is she? Who is she? Why, the Aquila boy, the ghost of the North Seas. The boat. A, a boat? She's a ship boy, and make no mistake about it. I thought you brought him here to restore order. I reckon he's the greenest thing on the frontier. Connor, meet me back at the manor when you've finished here. You said it requires repairs. You able? She does need work. A ship is a she, boy. And yes, I can refit her, but I I'm lacking in the proper supplies. Some some quality timber would help me get started. I can see to that. How long before it she is able to sail again? Just get me the lumber, boy. And I'll raise a crew. Oh, so we get to restore a, a ship as well. Classic. Mint condition. I'm having a lot of issues with my textures right now. If you look at the screen there, you see the side of the cliffs more or less just above Connor's heads? Heads? Just the one head, although Samuel Adams professes to have two. But yes, it's a little pixelated. Not sure what that's all about. More raccoons. Back here. I wonder where I get more arrows from, because I'm pretty low and they never seem to replenish. Ah oh well, one problem at a time.
Oh, so we're going to the house with the timber. That's a shame. I was hoping we get to buy more things from the shop with the uh, shopkeeper. There you are. I have something to show you. Come, take a look. What is it? A ledger. It lets us manage the homestead's dealings. And these? Uh, that was years ago. Before the slow fever, before the Templars, before everything collapsed. But that's all in the past. Better we focus on what's in front of us. Take up the ledger, and I'll teach you how it all works. Okay. So I'm buying lumber from these guys. Okay. I've bought some lumber. The stockpile now has lumber. Good. That makes sense. Right. Okay, so we're setting up a convoy now. Well, I'm glad it held my hand through that, but basically it looks as though we're harvesting wood from artisans and people around the homestead and other materials probably in the future and selling them on to various merchants, and I'm guessing that Hancock's store will be fairly small time in comparison time to passed them. quickly after that. My days a blur of study, training, and work. What little free time Achilles allowed me was spent learning about the Templars, about Charles Lee and my father. I longed to confront them, to put an end to their schemes, to ensure my people would remain untroubled and free. But I knew it was too soon, that to approach them now would see me killed. All my work would be for nothing, patience, restraint. These proved the most difficult subjects for me, but in time I mastered them as well. Days became months, months became years. And as my skills and knowledge grew, so too did I. Nice little bit of slow pan there. Thought so myself. Uh, looks as though we have a horse whistle now. That's going to be uh, indispensable. Call the horse. And there he is, the assassin horse. We'll go back to the boat. Now. Right. This is kind of excruciating at the moment because basically everything seems to consist of either starting at the homestead and having to walk towards uh, the opposite end of this area, or starting at the opposite end of the area and walking towards the homestead. I'm very much just sort of schlepping between uh, the two points and uh, awaiting the next cutscene. Looks like we might get to do a bit of sailing now though, judging by how that ship was really quickly refurbished. Good, some gambling. Probably later, though. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah. There we go. Alright, okay. Onwards. Oh, oh, I see, so he'll take me wherever. So we need to get some cannons and some officers. Come aboard and feast your eyes, boy. No, 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 not the left foot. Never the left foot. Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. Yep. She is solid. It's a good post. Aye. Weatherly and sleek. She'll fetch twelve knots in a stiff gale, near a ship from here to Singapore can outrun her on her best day. What do you say we take her out? Show you what she can do first hand. Where would we go? 
As it happens, she still needs guns and the officers to command them. We'll launch straight away. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you sprout good sea legs. All in the mainsail! Get up the rigging! Hand over, fist! Come on, men! Let's get her out where she needs to be! Come on, lad, no time like the present. Oh, Christ alive, we're on a ship again. She's running stiff! But it looks at least as though we'll get to steer it. Come on, come on, she won't bite! You're connected to her now. Listen and feel. She's idle. If you call for half sail, the men will hop to it and she'll pick up. Half sail! Yeah, killer flies again! Do you feel it, lad? Set a course for Martha's Vineyard. We'll find our guns and officers there. She's a nimble vessel, but the faster she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water before we come upon those shallows. Call for full sail if you like. Full sail! Full I'll sail! everything! Full sail! So this is pretty cool, I have to admit. I'm not sure what this big green stripe along wind here is. Oh, it's the wind. Stay alert, ah. Connor. Dusty winds can be difficult to manage. To half sail. Oh my goodness. Fly, full sail. Full sail, go get half sail's too slow. We're turning pretty much all the way to the left now. Perhaps we should go half sail. Yes, it seems much easier to, to steer this way. Won't get very far beached on a shoal. Oh, am I? Are we taking some hits? Now, take us through these shallows. Be careful not to run up on them. The sandbars will slow us down, but the rocks will put a hole through a hole. And if you want to make a quick tack, call for half sail. She's more maneuverable then. I don't know which way to go, that ship's being awfully slow ahead. Ah, we'll, we'll squeeze around it. That was a quick turn. I think maybe Connor's being a little bit overzealous. Mind those other vessels! Hold your tack to keep your right of way! Full sail. Everything. Full sail! Yeah, this is kind of cool. Not too exciting because we're just steering, but you know. I can see how this would be appealing in Black Flag now. This is uh, more the kind of freedom you want in your ship sailing uh, sim. I seem to be able to make the prow of the ship go down unless it's bobbing by its. Rogue winds! Oh. Ease her off. Slow her down to half sail. Deploy to half sail. All into half sail. They deploy and and raise those sails with alarming speed. I like how frantic the spinning of the wheel is in comparison to what actually happens with the ship. I think there's a set animation for him returning the wheel to its original position, so it looks as though he's turning it back a lot more than he actually turned it in the first place. But we won't worry about that too much. Cartridges. We're close. Yes, uh, we're on to Martha's Vineyard now. Oh, 
Oh, this wind is threatening to blow us off course. No sail. Bring her to full stop. I didn't even realize that. Uh, yeah, there we go. You're looking every bit as ravishing as I remember. Hmm. After all these years, you sail all the way to the vineyard to pay me compliments. We are looking for David and Richard Clutterbook. Hmm. Nice to see you, too. Robert Faulkner. Where the hell you been? Sorry for leaving like I did, lads, but where I was going, no one could know. You two working much? No. Between contracts at the moment. Well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? We'd be for getting into a few more scraps. <laughs> <laughs> Good show. The Aquila is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns as we speak. Looks like your friend's about to catch a beating. Where is Charles Lee? I don't much care for your tone, boy. Hey, you don't want to be doing that, Biddle. Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. <laughs> it's good you finally realize you're a shite sailor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not in here, gentlemen. Better still, not at all. Bobby, take your friends and get out! Let's go, boys. Our guns ought to be ready. Come on. So that was Mr. Church there. Along with, um, I'm not sure who that is. Okay, that's kind of cool. Get up on that boom! What the bloody hell was that about? The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? A Templar? The young buck was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody. Sails before the mast. Midshipman for the crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. Should I feel the need? I guess it'd weigh it down a bit, but... I'm not sure if that's actually going to come into play in this. <laughs> 